Hello, my name is James, the Mayor of Jamestown, and we're back again for some more Manor Spark. If you at all remember from the last episode, things did not go so well when I accidentally shot myself in the goddamn face. So we're going to try this again, but with someone new. This time, I'm going to play with a lady with a dog. What's her name? Galliana, the naturalist. Because, can I pet the dog? Arf, arf. Yes and no. It's not technically petting. Okay, so she has a very short roll. Holy crap. But she has a boomerang. Which I'm guessing I can throw. It comes back. It's a possibility to do two damage on an, on an enemy. I imagine it's going to have the same amount of damage as this lady with the crossbow. Um, I have runes that I can't really spend, so I'm going to look for some more villagers. I still think there are people out there that can join us. Give me more runes so I can get them. Yes, please. I'll search for volunteers and come back as soon as possible. So we, we're we starting to build towards passive upgrades now. So that's cool. Okay, so we've got the dog. And we've got the boomerang. Which I can hold and charge. And weirdly enough, goes in a straight line. I was 100% expecting it to do an arc, but that's fine. And we also have the dog. And I don't know what the dog does. Okay, so the dog, I can't tell if it attacks automatically, or if it's random chance. <clears throat> My, okay, so it's, so it's a random chance. So I can technically go into a room and have the dog do all of it for me. You know, I'm going to see if the dog can get me my Steam achievement. Because technically I'm not the one fighting, the dog is. Don't touch the balls. And we've got this last one. And the room is finished. Yes, the room is technically finished. No Steam achievement popped up. Popped up. That's fine. Okay, so apparently that's not how it works. Or is it per floor? I don't know. I'll look at it some other time. I'm not that fussed about getting it. Ooh. So. Oh my god. So. No, he pissed off the boar. Silly dog. Okay, so the dog is kind of OP. You can just, like, you don't have to really worry about anything, because he'll just sort of do it of his own volition. What is this? Small spider now follows you and attacks enemies. Yes! That's so cool. I'm into this. That is so dope. Oh, we have one of these. So now I have two companions. This is amazing. Unfortunately, as suspected... The damage is about the same as the woman with the crossbow, except her dodge is real rough. Dodge is so bad, but I guess it, you know, it's the trade-off you get for having, you know, a dog that cannot be harmed and will just fight for you. Um, what is this? I can't afford it. Oh, yes I can. One time per refill refills in peculiar rooms. Kind of a cool item. I might buy it. Because these this is only one coin. Don't know what that does. After killing three enemies without taking hits, you get a stone orb if you don't have any. I don't know what stone orbs are, but this looks like a companion. Covers life after killing a number of enemies. Yes! Oh, it's not companion. It's just a buff. Okay, well, I'm going to buy this. New item discovered. With some help, the blacksmith will be able to forge one of these. Ah, yes. Items. Completely forgot. You have to bring them to the the blacksmith and then they can create the blueprints so you can have them at the start of each run. Did I not even choose one to start with? I would have expected... I would have expected... Wait, do I? How do I target? Is that... Oh, okay. So the dot underneath the enemy is what my pets are going to focus on. That's busted. That is so busted. Okay, so that's real nice. I don't know if they target an enemy that I hit. Oh, they do. Okay, so if I hit them with the boomerang and then just run away like a little bitch. Okay, so that's 
That's real nice. Okay. That's real cool. One downside to this weapon. Oh no, their power thing is screwed. One thing that I'm not a fan about this weapon is it does not pierce through enemies. So, well, it does have the, the rebound. It isn't amazing. No, go away. Go away. Thank you. Oh my god, Morning Companions is actually amazing. Their power thing isn't amazing at all the time, but for the most part, they're actually busted. I'm hoping there's, there's got to be some kind of, like, pierce. I can't believe I didn't dodge that. There's got to be... Also, that did two damage. Holy shit. There must be some kind of pierce for the bow. Uh, not for the bow. For the... For all the weapons, I imagine. There's, there's got to be a pierced weapon somewhere. And I would suspect that it would be super useful for this character. Because it would be able to go through them once with one throw. And then, and then it would hit them a second time on the way back. Which would be super useful. Unfortunately, a dodge roll is utter trash... Which is fine, because we have that. Don't stand at the post. Oh, we have an item. What is the item? Oh, it's the invulnerability whenever you dodge roll. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Also, now I know what it means by shield. It means the other character. So I'm guessing the warrior is 110% going to have a shield. To, well, obviously he has a skill to defend himself. That's cool and dandy. Let's see if any other rooms have any other items. I don't like being in here. I'm just going to let my little minions do what they want. There's times like this where the trap would actually be super useful. But I don't remember picking it up. And either way, I've replaced it. For um, this potion, which is kind of peculiar. Oh wow. So I imagine I'm vulnerable until the blinking stops, which seems busted because the blinking doesn't look like it ever stops. I don't know how I feel about this. This seems too overpowered. Yeah, that seems rough. I kind of want to test it, but at the same time, not really. Wow. This is, uh, this is not a fun time for a skeleton crew, is it? Wow. Real rough. Real rough. Right. Uh, boss time, I think, now, isn't it? Could have sworn it's boss time now. Yes. Yes, it is. Boop. Open up. So, I get the worrying feeling that these guys are either going to be amazing or terrible for this boss fight. Because my damage isn't great, as we know. But at the same time, they're right there. But I can change the target. Oh, god damn it. That's the I just don't attack. They'll just target this dude forever. Wow. This <laughs> character is busted. Oh, one more bite and you're done. That was it. Wow. That is... That is busted. Companions in this game are busted. They either do too much damage, or there's just no risk. Like, in the Binding of Isaac, your companions generally suck. Unless you have, like... All of them. In this game, they're just it's just like no trade-off. You just attack the one thing you don't like and then that's it, you're done. Like there's almost no reason for me to fight. 
because I can just hide. I don't have to worry about being attacked. Are you frenemies? No, you're not. You are pyromantic skeletons, which take a shit ton of damage, actually. I don't know what my spider's doing. It's not doing great. Wow, these dudes take a lot of damage. <gasps> They'll shoot you if they're bad. No. Okay. Bit of stress, but it's all right. Okay, so these guys can like make these not nice. Good to know. I can't believe. I cannot believe that. I rolled. I fucking roll. Because I knew it would fire at me. But no. No, I did not. I did not roll as quickly as I should have done. That is rough. You fell earlier than I imagined. What does this mean? Try your luck. I don't know what this is. Plays hunter, sticky web, three rooms right from the start. What? What is this? Oh. Ah. Uh, I found you unconscious and brought you here. I hope you're better now. Okay, so I've, I've accidentally started another run. Okay, so... Oh, I don't like that they can do that. Sorry, Mr. Boar. But he was riding you like a bitch. So... You... So you can try your luck. And you'll have a completely random start. Interesting, interesting. I like it. Kind of fun. Um, unfortunately, I did want to play as the warrior. So I may just get to the peculiar room and kill myself and then play as the warrior. So I just activate the switch by accident. I did. Huh. Good to know you can do that. Good to know. Um, let's put that down. Let's heal real quick. Yep. Nice. So, real unfortunate about the last run, was not expecting to take so much damage from the fireball, partly because I wasn't expecting it, and then the second one just straight killed me. So that's fun. What is this? One free food in each exit room. I kind of hate that I'm kind of throwing this run away, but I want to play with the new characters first and foremost. Plus, I haven't done any upgrades, so I'm not really improving anywhere. Petrifies enemies when his orb is damaged. Oh, ooh. Doubles attack speed when you're hitting enemies without missing. Chance of freeze enemies attacking. Damage way up, attack speed a bit down. That sounds quite nice. But I mean, do, do I dare? Do, should I still kill myself? That's a good question, isn't it? Hmm. Let's see how we do. So now my attack speed is up because I haven't missed. No, it doesn't. I can't believe I walked into that. Okay, so the net trap's kind of cool. And I, I just missed them, so that's, that's fun. Boop. Right, now you're open. The count is missing if it's their shield. I feel like it might count as missing if it's their shield. Also, as the skeletons, is there a chance to like shoot off their head and they instantly die? Because I feel like I didn't do as much damage to that one character as I probably should have. I am poisoned. That's real rough. I wonder, can you die from poison? Let's find out. You can. You absolutely can. Do not get poisoned. It's real bad. It's a real bad time, but that's fine. We wanted to die. Okay, so once I die, you can try your luck and then get a possibly different... You get a random start, but there can be... It can be a random start with a good benefit, or it can be a random start with bad benefits. What the fuck is that at the bottom? I didn't pay for... I didn't agree to this shit. Alright, let's see what we can do first. I'll do my best to keep us well fed. Check out my recipes. 
give you more health, make you stronger, make you attack faster. Though they all seem really good, but I also would like to see what other stuff is on offer. You make items that cause pain, I'm well aware, you tell me every time. So now we can unlock the potion as well as the turret. Who are you? I'm here to learn through your deeds. I'm always eager to hear more about your adventures. Research wild boar's weakness for free. Oh, okay. So you can research weakness? Let's see what it does. Let's see what the research actually does. Is it just information or is it like fact? A goblin variation that looks like a bat that goes out to hunt at night. They are usually in groups of at least. What's their weakness? Oh. Okay. So I can. Okay, so there's not too many I haven't killed yet. So you can weaken them just straight by paying that cost. And then there are books that I haven't found yet. Okay. I don't know if this is like little bitch mode though <laughs> by doing that. But it, it's cool nonetheless. What the fuck is this though? It seems to be some kind of altar. I'm guessing this is the try my luck lady. Okay, well, we'll have you... I'm afraid there aren't many people around anymore. I'll keep looking just in case. Okay. So, let's try the warrior. And then, is there anything I can buy? Yeah. Why not? We'll buy it. And then the next will boost your attack and your coin luck. This cooked barley and beans will increase your health and your attack speed. Okay. So, he doesn't have a... He doesn't have a roll. He has a timed... Okay, it's not timed, actually. He has a... Just a general shield. Let's see how things go. How much, like, attacks... Not attack speed. How much space? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that's not how it... That does not control how I thought it would. Okay, so... It only goes in one of four directions. Okay, so you can go diagonal. Oh, that's weird. I don't like that. This is not my kind of character. So, what I was expecting, I was expecting, I was expecting it to be like how it always is. There's a reticle on screen, you aim with it, and then that's that. However, oh my god, I literally st stood still for him, and he missed. Yeah, there's. I was expecting this to be a reticule on screen, you can like circle around, and you can aim with your mouse, and then you'll have like short range. Like this. The range isn't the issue, it's how you aim. Every other character in the game aims where your mouse aims. This character acts as if the mouse doesn't exist unless you use it for attacking or shielding. Not a fan. It attacks in the direction you run. It's really odd. I'm standing still. How are you not hitting me? What is this? After killing three enemies without taking hits, you get an armor orb if you don't have any. Okay, so that's what that means. Okay, so that's actually, like, really good. And now we have an armor orb. And now it's gone. But you can get it back super easily. And there you go, it's back again. going to take some getting used to but okay so i can't remember what this thing's called but it real good let's carry on take my stuff what is this adds extra non-permanent orbs to your hp eh. or we can buy two items attack speed up Slower enemy projectiles doubles your attack damage when you're close to enemies. I have to be close to enemies, so definitely that one. Health way up damages you once. Meat collected with full health gives you a rune. Petrifies enemies that hit you and others nearby. We'll go with that, because we got the shield. Anyway. So, it's not really any, any skin off my nose. So, let's try this out. So weakened enemies obviously have... Ah, I can't believe I did 
like that. Okay. Oh, new item. Brilliant. What is this? Looks like a birthday cake. First sip of milk. Help up. Enemies that hit you are poisoned. Great. So the it's basically the the weird finger that I was considering. That turns out to not that I don't need anymore. Huh. Interesting. So Lol, I have a shield too. Wow, that's so far my combo is actually really nice. I'm not facing him, but I don't think that matters. Two strikes though. To kill is really nice. Okay, your shields suck, but I won't hit you, so that's fine. Um Do I do I wish to check this room? Of course I do. I can't believe. There we go. That's amazing. And then you while you charge. Okay, that is amazing. Wow, holy crap. I'm also dropping a ton of money. Which is really nice. Library. This is gonna be an interesting one. Because all the other characters have range. This guy is melee. And this I think does a ton of damage if you accidentally get caught in the laser. So I'm gonna have to be real careful. But we'll try it. We'll see we'll see how things go. I can't believe I missed. Let's just put it away. Stab. Okay. I don't know if it's because of my damage or the fact that this boss is actually super easy now, but I've done it a few times. That nearly hit me. And he's dead. Wow. This boss is not nearly as hard as the first time. Good to know. Okay, so the boss is super easy. I'm, I'm saying it now. The boss is just easy. Very, very predictable patterns. And my damage is off the chain. Because I have to be near people to do damage. And I have an, an item that increases damage when I'm near people. Okay, while you reload, then I just... Yeah, there we go. Problem solved. Okay, you got poison. That's nice. God damn it. Shield. Thank you. There we go. And three hits, I have my armor back. So, most of the time... Most of the time, I don't really have to worry about damage. Unfortunately, the repel of the shields is real not nice. But, everything dies in about two swings right now. Which is pretty sp Come on, open the door. I've got places to be, you know. Okay, so that's the one thing I've seen that doesn't die in two swings. Which is fine. Also, doesn't matter which way I aim. The shield protects me. I was expecting it to be like, okay, maybe they can hit my head. Maybe they can hit my feet. Maybe they can hit underneath. Uh, I mean, from behind. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. The pyromancer's going to be a bit rough, though. No, he's not. No, he's not, apparently. <laughs> That's not nice, though. Okay, the pyromancer is quite... Okay, I take back. The pyromancer is still rough. I can't believe I walked into that. Right. We have food in the next room, which is fine. Defend or not. It'd be kind of nice if you could, like, defeat their shields, but it is what it is. Oh, can I take a book? I give up. There's no way these skeletons are going to learn to avoid the spike traps on the ground. I wonder if the fact that they don't feel pain makes them less aware of those hazards. This turned out way more interesting than I expected. The arrow trap I've invented made some rooms into real puzzles. Let's test humans as they make their way through. In 
Internal reaction number 23. Using other animals is surely an easier way of achieving a successful mana reaction. How far can we go without it? With it. A super long time doesn't seem to be the most useful power to have. Note to self, do not let the insectoids free in the room at any time. Damn, when they decide to fly around, I just can't catch them again. Extremely annoying. Okay, didn't even know that these were little things. But cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I do want the food that's in here, though. Thank you. And then we will move on with our lives. And hopefully get our armor back up soon. Who are you? Oh, you're a boss. This was not expected. Also, was not expecting to... Did not mean to block that. It was purely an accident. Oh my god! Get out of the poison. Get a poison real well. to know what happens once you beat it though I really need to know it's too late though, we've been defeated I think it's rough the dude had like 8 health and it still proceeded to chomp about 4.5 that was real not nice so that's fun I don't know what this ult is about, who are you? Alibar. I'm too old to fight, but if you let me combine these runes with a skill I use to use when escaping from all back in my day, that would be useful, kid. What is this? Holding the attack button for a little longer will double the player's attack power. Waiting some time without attacking will grant you a petrifying arrow. Waiting for the last moment to defend an attack will grant you one armor or if you have none. Sacrifice a heart to revive a spider or a bat as your ally. Holy crap. I can have a free um, companion from the very start. It's amazing. Um, I think that's about... Maybe, uh, maybe I'm only allowed to have one enemy that has a weakness at a time. I'm guessing. Okay, cool. Well, that's been Mana Spark once again. As per usual. I'm having a ton of fun with this game. I really enjoy playing it. I don't know what it is. It's just... I think it's something about the, the graphics, the gameplay. It's so simple yet so satisfying. But it's got that just enough challenge to not be annoying, but to not be too, too easy. Although that boss was bullshit. I should have beat it, but that's fine. It's fine. It's, we're moving on. For now, though, I will leave it there. I've been James, the mayor of Jamestown. And I will see you next time. Peace.